Welcome to the Narcissistic Abuse Support Group, where we provide guidance and support to individuals who have been affected by narcissistic relationships. Greetings. Today, I am going to address the question I've received quite frequently regarding narcissism. Many have asked if there's a straightforward way to detect traits of narcissism or even narcissistic personality disorder, which is the full-blown personality disorder. The concise response is, well, it's not that simple. These constructs are intricate, requiring multiple characteristics to align to diagnose someone with narcissism or NPD. However, there are indeed some key elements that can indicate narcissism more prominently than others. This video aims to unravel what truly lies at the core of narcissism, and though it won't offer a flawless answer, it will ignite a dialogue around this subject. Often, people refer to the symptom criteria in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, also known as the DSM, when contemplating narcissism. But if we focus on the first criterion, which is grandiose sense of self-importance, we encounter an issue. It's challenging to observe. Detecting this in someone isn't straightforward. The DSM's symptom criteria, including entitlement, feeling special, jealousy, arrogance, lack of empathy, and manipulation do provide us with insights, but they are manifestations of narcissism not its core. To identify the root of narcissism, we must delve deeper. One less explored symptom criteria involves fantasies of success, wealth, power, and ideal love. This criterion, often overlooked, can be a potent integrator of narcissism. Although it is not always straightforward to detect, it hints at a fundamental aspect of narcissism. Now, the question becomes, what do the sense of entitlement and fantasies of success and power have in common? To put it simply, the core of narcissism may be self-deception. If someone can lie and genuinely convince themselves that the lie is the truth, it may indicate narcissism. Imagine watching a science fiction movie. You enter with the awareness that it's fiction but you suspend your disbelief to be entertained. The creators know it's not real, and so do you. This act of self-deception, even on a small scale, can be akin to what happens in the narcissist's mind. Narcissists often engage in fantasies of grandeur, and while they may not fully believe in them, they need to entertain the possibility that they could believe in them and that it could come true. This is a form of self-deception at play, a core trait of narcissism. However, there's a crucial point to consider. Is self-deception observable? Detecting when someone believes their own lies is challenging. It differs from typical deception where someone lies to manipulate you or gain material benefits. Self-deception indicates that a person is lying to themselves as well as to others. The degree to which we can observe self-deception varies from person to person. For those who spend ample time with a narcissistic individual, the distinct feeling of self-deception may become apparent. It has a unique quality different from regular deception, and over time, one may sense that it points to narcissism. Yet, it's crucial to remember that self-deception is not exclusive to narcissism. It can also hint at other disorders like antisocial personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, or even delusional conditions such as schizophrenia or mania. Knowing oneself and trusting one's instincts are indispensable assets when it comes to detecting narcissism and ensuring safety in relationships. Unlike the self-deception exemplified in narcissistic individuals, understanding your inner world and heeding your instincts offers significant advantages in navigating complex human connections, particularly with narcissists. Self-awareness stands as the bedrock for discerning narcissistic behavior. 
By delving into your own values, desires, and emotional triggers, you become finely attuned to any disparities or discomforts in a relationship. This heightened self-awareness serves as a spotlight, illuminating the red flags and prompting you to question interactions that deviate from your authentic self. Trusting your intuition is a potent tool in the battle against narcissism. When a relationship feels askew, it's paramount to heed your gut feelings. Narcissists frequently excel at manipulation and deceit, but your inner voice acts as an unwavering guide, allowing you to identify when something is awry. Cultivating emotional intelligence is pivotal in detecting narcissistic behavior. It equips you to skillfully navigate the intricate terrain of emotions within relationships and to identify telltale signs of manipulation or gaslighting, tactics frequently employed by narcissists. Understanding your own boundaries is imperative in both detecting and confronting narcissists. When you know what behavior you deem acceptable and what you do not, you can promptly spot when someone consistently transgresses those limits a common characteristic of narcissism. A robust sense of self-esteem and self-worth acts like a bulwark against narcissistic abuse. With a firm self-concept, you're less prone to accept mistreatment and more inclined to recognize your intrinsic value. Your personal values serve as a guiding compass in relationships. By aligning your connections with the deeply held values, you swiftly identify instances where someone fails to respect or honors what matters most to you. By relying on your knowledge and instincts, you empower yourself to assume control of your relationships and safety. This self-reliance reinforces the notion that you possess the capacity to shield yourself and make choices that cater to your ultimate well-being. In summary, here is the bulleted list of the reasons why you should rely on your instincts to help you detect narcissism. Number one, maintain self-awareness. Two, trust your gut. Three, rely on your emotional intelligence. Four, set boundaries. Five, maintain your self-esteem and know your self-worth. Number six, set personal values. Number seven, endorse independence and empowerment. In essence, comprehending yourself better than anyone else and having faith in your instincts equates to seizing the reins of your own well-being. It doesn't imply unwarranted paranoia or an inherent mistrust of others, but rather signifies a sharp awareness of narcissistic cues and an informed approach to your relationships. Through reliance on your inner wisdom, you construct a robust foundation for forging healthy, respectful, and gratifying connections while adeptly identifying and sidestepping the pitfalls of narcissism. I invite you to share your thoughts in the comments sections as discussions on narcissism often lead to diverse and insightful opinions. Everyone's experience with narcissism is distinct and our abilities to detect it may vary widely. In conclusion, while there may not be an actively straightforward way to detect narcissism, this exploration of self-deception and awareness of your own instincts can serve as a valuable starting point for understanding this complex personality trait. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to your feedback and discussions on this intriguing topic. Don't forget to stop by our description section and get our free workbook designed to help you explore narcissism and narcissistic relationships on your own time. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.